All right, so uh, head coach John Tortorella there after the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets losing in overtime to the Tampa Bay Lightning. The big storyline again, Pierre-Luc Dubois benched in the first period, did not see a single shift after that in periods two and three. And credit the Columbus media trying to mm -hmm. get some answers, but uh, credit John Tortorella being John Tortorella and just saying, hey, I know you got to ask it, but we're not going to answer it that. We're going to handle it internally. How do they handle it, do you think, internally? Well, I think this is going to call for further discussion, of course. I know they've had a lot of discussions internally, and that would make a lot of sense. And I think as they go forward, they'll have to continue to have more. I'm not sure if this next one will be with, with Coach Torts and, and Pierre-Luc Dubois and or if it goes higher than that. But I think at the end of the day, this is a player that they know very well. There's, he's a player that they drafted, and they know him. He's an organic uh, player that they've developed as well who's become a really good player, and I think there's a high ceiling for this guy. I think he has a chance to be a star in this league based on his size, based on his physicality, uh, his explosiveness, and his hockey IQ. Of course, it's been made public the fact that he's looking for a change of scenery. He'd like to play elsewhere. But I think as this continues to go along, it's going to serve everybody involved just to, to realize and, and to stick to the script in that, of course, I agree with Torts and, and saying that he coaches a certain way. I played for Torts, so you know that already. Uh, and I understand what that looks like. But I think as they go forward, you want to make sure for everybody involved in this situation, both the Jackets and Pierre-Luc Dubois, that everybody's on the same page because this guy is really a, a bright player. And he is a player, as long as he's there, he's a difference maker. He is their number one center. He's an impact player, j -Mo. This is a guy that can turn a game on its ear. And I think as long as he uh, gets back to doing all the great things that he does and being the young man that he is and the Jackets, they can find... Uh, both sides can find some common ground here. Then we'll see where things go down the line. But in an instance like this, I know Torts, he's coaching a certain way, but then it ends up becoming a story too. Mm -hmm. So I think if they can find a common ground on both ends and both sides, ultimately this would be great. But they've got a, he's a first class young guy. I think he's a top class player and it would benefit everybody if everything is smooth from this point out. And who knows what that's going to look like. Is it at the 20-game mark that a trade is facilitated? We don't know. Does this even play out for this entire season, and then they trade him in the offseason? We don't know that. Right. That's unforeseen. He signed a two-year contract. He just signed a two-year <laughs> deal. So we're not really sure where it is. You know, Of course, he's coveted by a lot of different clubs, mm -hmm. but ultimately uh, he's there now. They're who he plays for and vice versa. Hopefully they can find some common ground because he's a really classy guy, and they've got classy people in that organization as well. Yeah, could have uh, used them tonight as they fall 3-2 totally. to the Bolts in overtime.